guys, it's Matt and Local Motors. Um, today, I wanted to show you what we've come up with for one potential solution for uh, how we're going to mount the disc brake caliper on the Verado, um, specifically on the electric version. So originally, the videos you've seen recently, we've had the trike riding around with this fork, where basically just welded a piece of sheet metal on here that was the right dimensions for the bolts on the uh, caliper mount. And it worked out all right. It didn't, wasn't really centered that well, but it was a prototype. One problem we had with this is that we had to come back and grind the powder coat off of this fork that we're using in order to weld that tab on. So we would then have to go back and paint it again or repowder coat it and everything. So rather than go ahead and mess up the paint on uh, off the shelf product that we're using, we decided to go with something like this which is what I've been working on over the last couple days. So this is a sleeved piece of tubing that happens to fit perfectly over the uh, end of the fork here. Cut out a section for the dropouts. On the back side, there's a plate that welds on that actually replaces the washer uh, that would be closest to the hub uh, and doubles the uh, dropout there. So what that does is when this is bolted up to the wheel, like you'll see in a minute, it uh, prevents this whole assembly from turning at all. And then we weld a tab that's slightly offset from that one on the opposite side to hold the brake caliper. Never mind these screws that are on here, they're the only M6 screws I could come up with on short notice to actually demonstrate this, but uh, they'll be nicer screws for production. But to show you how this goes on. So just slips right on there, tighten it down, and when you get up close you can see the uh, brake caliper is now tied in nicely and everything centered right on the rotor, the rotor won't be bending or anything and we will have full contact on the pads. So versus that prototype setup, this should be even additional 20 to 30 percent extra braking power even. So I'm real excited to throw this back on the trike and see how it goes. Hopefully, uh, we'll be pretty close to a production solution here.